This is Twit. So uh, we were talking about James Earl Jones, not Alec Guinness. Although I do love every Alec Guinness movie ever made. The man in the in the gray suit and the, or white Even suit. Even Murder by Death. Murder by Death. That's a not. That's a later one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but James Earl Jones, I just learned from the chat rooms. First movie was anybody? The Great White Hope. No. Or no. Older than that, he had a bit part in a very famous movie you might know as. Dr. Strangelove. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. Ready, I should know that. Bomb fusing, master safety on, this electronic, the, experiment. No spoilers. That's, uh, this uh, is... Bomb fusing, master safety on, electronic, Nice. Isn't that amazing? Young man. His I, very first role. I knew that somewhere role. in the back of my brain, and I forgot it. Oh, Lieutenant well. Luther, Luther, my... Luther Zog. Let's go around trivia. <laughs> so, uh, he's also, as you point out, the voice of mm -hmm. Obi-Wan came out. No, Doctor Darth Vader. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just do that to make you crazy. But of course, he's 91 now, which mm -hmm. I didn't realize. Really? Wow. Yes, and his voice is not this the one that you're used to. Mm -hmm. So there is a company in Ukraine. This is from Vanity Fair. Mm -hmm. uh, their company's called Respeecher. By the way, they're doing some of this work from bomb shelters because... Uh, you know, they're in Kiev and Lviv and so forth, that is working on voice synthesis for James Earl Jones for future, because Darth Vader's voice can't change, mm -hmm. for future Star Wars TV and movies. Uh, the last time he had actual dialogue was in The Rise of Skywalker. And at that point, he told Lucas, he said, um, or Disney, I guess, uh, he's looking at winding down. So they hired Reese Speecher, and James Earl Jones has given them full license to duplicate his voice. Wow. In fact, uh, Jones' family told them how pleased they were with the result of the work, giving his voice back, you know, to the galactic I'm tyrant. really glad that he, they have a license to do that and just not bootlegging his yes. voice. And they're not right. saying, well, you and that he benefits once, from it. We own you. Yeah. 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 So uh, and I, I don't know if his contract is better because he's James Earl Jones and has the ability to benefit from it and sign off on it than somebody else who was hired as a voice actor in something and then their character goes on to become important and they want to reuse it, he which was, I'm sure has happened many times. He was for a long time, as I remember, pissed off about CNN. This is CNN. This is, mm -hmm. you know, the world's whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, apparently he was there doing an interview or something and somebody kind of said, hey, could you say... The, oh, really? Yeah, the world's yeah. most important news network or something. Well, I can't remember what it is. They haven't used it lately. So yeah. they basically did like in Bowfinger where you kind of abs accidentally captured the... Uh, they got him to say it into a microphone and then used it. Wow. And he was Forever. a little miffed. They eventually yeah. made him whole. They settled. Well, this can we... T do, does the article go into detail about the tremendous amount of tech expertise that goes into generating his voice, both from a here's how we did a perspective and also a here's how we did it while our country is currently being shelled perspective. Yeah, they do. Because that's yeah. what I'm interested in. They These do. people maintain a phenomenal continuity of IT operations while they were being shelled. Yeah. Bogdan wonder Believ was working from home when the air raid sirens went off, <laughs> begins yeah. the article. They wow. hadn't mm -hmm. been heard in the city of Lviv since World War II, but it was February 24th and Russia had just invaded Ukraine when we heard that missiles were attacking and that our internet connection was dropping from parts of the country. We got into shelter, says Bogdan. That meant him, his wife, their dog, and two cats huddling in the center of their building. It's a shelter in quotes because it was actually our bathroom. Oh There's a rule of two wow. walls. Get ready for this. You need to be behind two walls. The first wall takes the impact. The second one stops the small shrapnel. Mm -hmm. uh, but for Believ, the work continued because he needed it to. People on the other side of the world were relying on them. The project was a culmination of a passion he'd had since childhood Star Wars. He's a synthetic speech artist at the Ukrainian startup Respeecher. They use archival recordings and a proprietary AI algorithm to create new dialogue with the voices of performers from long ago. Maybe they can get Putin to uh, surrender. You know, speech. <laughs> Just... Hey, no, hey, Vlad. <laughs> uh, he, they worked with Lucasfilm to generate the voice of a young Luke Skywalker for the book of Boba Fett. Uh, they, they needed to make James Earl Jones sound like Darth Vader from 45 years ago for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Um, and, uh, and even though they were under invasion, 
in shelters all over the country. Uh, they continued working because... You realize this means that, that Twit could go on for the next 200 years. I am can, so thrilled about that. They can. I have hundreds of thousands of, of hours of my voice. <laughs> if they can't fake it by now, I love it. I love it.